Okay, so what I have before me is a laser engraver sent to me by GearBest. GearBest is kind of like a Banggood, I think. Um, they sell cheap products and they're based in China. Um, I've had a lot of good experience with Banggood. Banggood is a great company, but GearBest reached out to me. So I'm giving a look at this as laser engraver. Now this particular model that I have is a NEJE DK-8-KZ 1000 milliwatt laser engraver printer. If there's one suggestion I can make right off the bat, make the name easier to understand. I can't even, I had to use my iPhone to read it because it's insane. Ugh. What comes in the box is a laser engraver, mini USB, is USB 2.0. Little one gigabyte uh, SD card, some stylish glasses. I can't tell if I just went to a rave or I just got cataract surgery. Either way, these things are a baller. I might have to wear these outside of using this thing. Take a look at the instructions. Literally all it says is download link. Look at how cute that is. You can do that too with this thing. I can do that too. We all can, everybody with this thing can do this. Trustfur.com. Okay, sorry about the video recording of me doing this. So Windows doesn't have a built-in video recording software and I usually do this on my Mac. But anyways, this is what we're doing. We're going to trustfur.com. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to downloads right here. What you want is the prouserguide.zip. It takes you to this, wait a minute, you're about to get infected and everyone's going to die. Just ignore this warning. I haven't had issues yet. And then you'll extract your prouserguide.zip, open it up, and it gives you driver, guide, pick, and software. Go to driver, install the driver application. Now this is where I had the most trouble because I think it installed but didn't install and then reinstalled, whatever. If you run this install, and it doesn't work when you go to when you go to hook up your laser engraver, use the uninstall. So if you run into issues, uninstall, restart your computer, reinstall, should work. So we're going to grab our two USB cables. These two USB cables, the, the mini and the USB 2.0. One of them is power and one of them is for the data. So then next thing you wanna do is go down to software, double click it. English unless you speak German, and then click on laser engraver underscore EN for English 3.2.2. Run the application. Now if the driver's installed properly, when you open up this software, it should automatically connect to your laser engraver. It takes a little bit to do it every time. There we go. So uh, right here you can see that uh, finding COM port 5 is available, connecting and verified. So it connected, which is great. You've got a couple options around here. You start off by getting a picture, wherever your picture might be. Let's go back here, I have some in downloads, I think. Grab the Batman file and you drag and drop it into here. It'll automatically make it black and white if it isn't, and it will resize it a little bit so that it fits onto the, onto the board. To send it to the machine. Okay, so now we're gonna get our board and we're gonna put it inside the machine. Now these rubber bands that are here are meant to hold the board down so it's steady. Since this is balsa wood, we're gonna adjust our burning time down here. I've done this a couple times and uh, 30, 30, the quantity 30 burning is a little bit too long. The quantity 15 burning is a little bit too low. So we're gonna try a solid 20. So that's how you adjust how long the laser stays in one place. Now you just do start. Okay, so the finished printing. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can adjust the focus of the laser, and that's by adjusting this silver knob back here. And it makes this dot, the, the laser dot, more focused. So that's important to do to make sure that your print turns out nicely. So that turned out really nice. Here are a few other ones that I did. I did this a while ago. Um, that's the How We Make Things logo that was made by Matt DeMarco. It's awesome looking. Um, here's my dad's company logo. Here's, a, here's another Batman one on some a different kind of wood, so you can see the difference between the two of them. Both look really nice. And this is what it looks like if you don't strap it down with the rubber bands. They move around a lot and it just starts getting funky looking. So this is the non-rubber banded one. Bottom line, the machine is nice and everything. Uh, it does what it does. It does what it needs to do really well, but I just don't see a very big use case for it because the things that it prints are so small that unless you're doing some kind of specialty thing, then it doesn't fit what I the things that I like to do. Now, one thing that I will use it for for sure is engraving all of my things with the How We Make Things logo. I'm definitely doing that because that is super cool, but 
Overall, I really just want a bigger laser printer. I'm talking way bigger, something that can do, you know, three feet by four foot or something, something that can actually cut through the wood so that I can make printouts and I can put things together from laser cut wood. I think that would be awesome. Anyways, this thing works, it's cool, it's from GearVest, and uh, it's not the most wonderful thing to set up, but once you get it going, it's, you know, it works.